For parents, and for those of us who care for children, our primary concern is that they are healthy and happy. And we all enjoy the sound of young children at play. Being active comes naturally to young children. From the very moment of birth, a baby is active, moving around, reaching, stretching out, and soon grasping, holding, crawling, standing, walking, and running. Parents and those who care for children should ensure the safety of the young child without being overly protective. Encouraging children to be active is a natural way to promote a young child's health and well-being. Physical activity can include everyday activities, including walking, running, jumping, climbing, active play and physical recreation, exercise routines, and sports. Being active can help the young child grow physically as well as develop mentally and emotionally. It's also important for using up energy. Although the rate of development can vary from one child to the next, physical activity is good at all ages. Exercise and activities provide great ways for the young child to mix with other children, to make friends, and to do what every young child wants to do. Have fun! Physical activity also helps learning. It can improve emotional development, make a child more alert, more confident and content. As adults, we know that regular exercise is good for us, particularly for our physical fitness. This is also true for children. In particular, regular physical activity will improve their balance and coordination. Good activities include clap and rhyme games, balancing games like freeze, cycling, tumbling, hopscotch and dancing. Being active will promote the strength of their muscles and bones. Activities like climbing, skipping, jumping, pulling and pushing are best. Physical activity will enhance their aerobic fitness, the fitness of their heart and lungs. Best activities in this regard are those that make them breathe faster, raise their heart rates and get them warmer. Examples of good aerobic activities are walking, running, chasing games, stair climbing and dancing. These aerobic activities will also help maintain healthy levels of body fat and lower the chances of the onset of heart and lung diseases later in life. Being active will develop their flexibility and mobility. Best activities are those that involve bending, twisting and turning, stretching, reaching and curling. The first five years is a very influential time in a child's development. Early childhood is the time when children develop basic movements, including walking, running and jumping, and more complex motor skills, such as skipping, throwing, catching, striking, kicking and balancing. Early childhood is also the time when children develop the physical activity habit. If young children are helped to take part in and enjoy physical activity, these skills and habits will develop and last a lifetime. If our children are missing out on being active, they're missing out on a critical part of their development. A lack of physical exercise is one of the key factors that have led to growing instances of obesity among Irish children. Inactivity can also lead to low levels of coordination and balance and slow down the development of muscles and bones. Most importantly, perhaps, research now shows that young children who do not participate in adequate physical activity are much more likely to be less active as adults. Providing young children with opportunities to be active demands time and space, and in today's fast-changing world, parents are often under pressure for both. Increased dependence on family cars, long working hours, traffic jams, dark evenings and safety issues all contribute to parents having less time to be active with their children. The weather too makes a difference. Fresh air outdoors is the best option, but Irish winters often mean having to stay indoors. Other aspects of a modern lifestyle, such as hours spent watching TV or playing computer games, also move children in an unhealthy direction. The following guidelines have been developed to assist parents and those who care for children. 
Young children should be physically active for a minimum of one hour and up to several hours every day. It's best to accumulate this amount in many smaller bouts, five minutes or so, rather than long sessions. Young children's physical activity experiences should be as varied as possible, taking place in a range of settings, both indoor and outdoor, including the home, local community or play school, and a wide variety of activities such as household chores, active play, physical recreation or exercise routines. It is not recommended that children under five be involved in organized sports. Many will not have developed the necessary motor skills, hand-eye coordination, control and balance. And importantly, many will be too young to handle the emotional and social stress sometimes associated with competition. Parents and those who care for children should encourage and allow babies to explore and be active from their earliest days. Babies need time and space to burn off energy and should not be confined to buggies, play pens, car seats or baby seats for long periods. Stimulate them by touching, holding them and rocking. Early lifting or sitting up also encourages movement and balance. Carry them to new environments and allow them to explore and move around. As they get older, encourage active play through baby games or the use of simple toys which involve movement. A toddler will already have gone through many stages of development before he or she tries those first uncertain steps. Learning and movement are codependent. Children are curious. They want to know more. When they've mastered crawling, they want to learn how to stand. And as soon as your child can walk unassisted, he or she is ready to move on to new forms of activity. Parents and those who care for children should encourage and allow toddlers to develop the basic movements of walking, running, jumping and climbing. These activities build up strength in their legs, develop their balance and coordination. Basic movements come quickly to the active toddler. They love to try new things and imitate what they see, so parents and caregivers can literally lead by example, using play, song, rhyme and dance. It takes time for these movements to develop. Trial and error is the healthiest option. Some toddlers don't need constant encouragement. Some do. The point is that they play because they enjoy playing. It relieves boredom, frustration and anxiety. Even helping out at home can be played like a game. It gives a chance for toddlers and adults to bond, sharing the task of doing something useful. You don't need expensive toys to encourage toddlers to practice and develop basic movements. Ordinary items around the house can often be used. Parents and those who care for children should encourage and allow preschoolers to develop more complex motor skills, such as running, cycling, throwing, catching, kicking, tumbling, balancing, skipping and dancing. By the time toddlers become preschoolers, they are at an advanced stage of development. Parents can build on progress already made. Preschoolers are ready and able to try more challenging games. More complex motor skills can be developed by adding an extra action to the basic movements they have learned. And so walking can become running, rolling become tumbling, and holding can become throwing, catching or kicking. Activities that involve bending, twisting, turning, stretching and reaching are particularly good at this stage. These movements help develop flexibility, coordination and mobility and should be encouraged. Parents and those who care for children should ensure the safety of the young child without being overly protective. This is a difficult balancing act. The difference between allowing them the freedom to explore and experiment without inviting accident or injury. Young children love to have a go at activities like climbing, jumping, balancing, which are part and parcel of their need to explore and develop. Unless there is a serious risk of injury, it's recommended that the young are supervised a lot and discouraged a little. Some practical common sense tips. Remember, 
that a baby needs head and neck support at all times. Because toddlers constantly want to explore, pick up objects, feel them and taste them, make sure that toys are not too small, as putting objects in their mouths is a natural impulse for every toddler. Don't overdo activity. There's always tomorrow. Parents and those who care for children should be positive role models by participating in physical activity with their children. It's well proven that young children are influenced by what they see. So, if adults can enjoy walking, running, swimming and cycling, children will feel they can too. And at the end of the day, burning off so much energy will probably ensure a good night's sleep for everyone.